Oh, go figure. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck is that? <laughs> You got to look at it this way, okay? You just got to look at it. That's all you can do anymore. And if you don't have one of these in your repertoire, you really should. Each one of these cords is a device like a pump, a heater. Uh, there's a heat, actually there's two heaters. There's one, two, three, four, five different pumps in here. It's always a good idea to have redundancy when it comes to a reef aquarium. And for this very reason, around 4 a.m., again, both my apex and my phone lit up like a Christmas tree on fire, alerting me that my sump water level was too high. As I look at the Ecotech driver, it flashes red and green. And after messing with the pump, I don't know, maybe half an hour to 45 minutes, what I did is I took it out and put it in this bucket for the time being and installed my backup Mag 2. And as you can see, it's just the pump goes through a tube and connects to the main plumbing. Now I will say, if I did not have this, I'd be in a world full of hurt. So just a little tip, if you do not have any kind of backup pump, I would strongly suggest you have something. It doesn't really matter what it is, just have something in case your main pump decides to die on you. So what my plan is now is I'm going to get my black Rubbermaid case and one five gallon bucket and take this pump, put it into the five gallon bucket and completely take it apart to see if there's anything obviously wrong with it that I can fix here and if not, the next step would be to contact Ecotech and, and see how they can help me out. With the unit taken apart, this should spin freely. And wow, that feels pretty locked up. I'm not sure what the problem is. But I think I'm gonna have to take this apart. So what I did is I put this in a bowl in hot water. And I think it did the trick. The hot water might have penetrated inside of here because a whole bunch of nasty stuff came out. But if you can see right there, I know it's hard to see, there's a whole bunch of grime and that was just sticking to it, allowing it not to move. I'm gonna put this in a fresh bowl of hot water and let this soak for maybe an hour. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need to take it apart. Just let this soak in some hot water and um, we'll go from there. And after about 20 minutes in the bowl with hot water, as you can see, it's, it's spinning freely now. So what I'm gonna do is install this back into the pump and then give it a test run. And then if it works, I'm gonna put this back into the aquarium. All right, that was a little bit more of a deal than I thought it was gonna be. Pump is all clean and put back together. The extra pump is still running and I'm gonna turn that off now on the Apex app. Pump is now off. It's starting to fill up the sump. So what I'm gonna do is remove this pump and put the Vortec in. Go. The pump is now installed. The union is tight. Actually, I made this tighten that. Yep, union is tight. I'm gonna turn on the pump and uh, cross my fingers that this works. It usually takes a minute to boot up. Still got my fingers crossed. Crossed, crossed, crossed. 
It looks like the driver's loading up. And there it is. Woohoo! And it is working. Fantastic. Check that one off the list. Dear Diary, it feels like I am cleaning the glass quite often lately. Maybe more than I should. I wonder if anyone else out there feels the way I do. I really wish I didn't have to clean it as often. I think I am ready for a change. That's it. I am going to build a refugium. I start off with two pieces of plexiglass. I need to bond these together because I do not have a piece big enough. I am using Weld On 4 and an applicator. I have filled up the applicator here, as you can see. After I have my two pieces measured correctly, I apply the Weld On to bond the pieces together. It's a strong bond. The two pieces are now one. I am going to be using a commonly found aluminum light reflector and a red and green LED bulb. Just look at it! <laughs> Just look at it! Yeah, well, what the heck is that? I don't want the light to slide around and fall into the sump by mistake, so I need to add ABS tabs here. With the ABS sheet ready, I cut thin strips and then cut those in half. I apply a decent amount of super glue to each piece and then apply them to the plexiglass. And then let everything dry for 24 hours. And now I am in the cabinet and I'll show you how well this actually fits in here. So a piece of plexiglass will fit right on this ledge and right on this ledge. Now I can slide this back and forth wherever I need to to get the optimal lighting into the sump that I need. Now I'm going to grab the light and as you can see it fits in this track and the light will not slide around but I can also slide this anywhere I want. What I have to do now is route this cord in the wire track and then plug it into the apex and uh, turn it on. Now the whole reason why I'm doing this is I've been growing a lot of algae on the bottom of the aquarium, on the back glass, and on the power heads. So what I'm going to do is try to not grow algae inside of the display, but in the sump. And this light is actually red and green, and it's supposed to grow Kato in plants really well. I'm not going to say what kind of other plant. In some states this plant is illegal. So what I'm going to do is place this. So hopefully this grows the little bit of Kato I have left sitting in the corner not growing because the LED lights in my sump are all blue and UV. And really right now it's only growing some of the pallies I have on these rocks in here. So I'm going to cross my fingers and check back in a few weeks and to see if this little bit of Kato is actually grown. And here is just to give you a little bit of an idea of how bright this light is. Well, that's pretty bright to me. So what I've done is I've just temporarily ran this cable over top of the LEDs and ran it through. And it comes out of this port of the apex and goes to the first EB8 outlet number two. And I have it programmed on my phone and I've labeled it Fuge, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it works. Look at that. So I'll give this a couple weeks and see if that little bit of Chato grows.